years, I imagine you've seen a few hair disasters. Are there any that really spring to mind? Yeah, I suppose one of the things that I, I experienced and I've never experienced again is when I was uh, doing a show once in a foreign country, the product company didn't do a skin test. So in our salons, we always do a skin test. We analyze the hair before we do any major product. So at the time, if you're using a metallic henna within the hair um, and you place a chemical over the top, the hair will just snap off at that given area. So this person, the hair just broke off. So luckily, uh, we cut her hair really short, she loved her hair, so it worked in our favour, but that, that is like a, a little bit dramatic. Yeah, definitely. So it is really important to kind of have the background information before. That's why we always recommend to get professional service. Absolutely, because there can be so many hair disasters that go wrong for people trying to achieve yeah. a professional effect themselves. Well, a percentage of our um, guests come in with problem hair, so that means we're resolving things that we've done at home, yes. and that is not easy because that takes time yeah. and most people want a result and that is not possible. Yeah. So growing your hair after a treatment or creating a, a, a better foundation for your hair, it takes time. Yes. So it, it could be that someone's tried to get a quick fix for their hair at home and actually in reality it ends up taking a lot longer to sort out. There's no quick fixes in life. Yeah. They have to stick with the professional way. And stick with the professional way and take time. That's why it takes time to evolve and create a relationship with, with the hairdresser. Yeah.